Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Uh, in this session, I want to discuss about sequencing and jobs on two machines using Johnson's. Uh, Johnson's rules is a method of scoring jobs in two work centers. Its primary objective is to find an optimal sequence of jobs. To reduce span means the total amount of time it takes to complete all jobs. It also reduces the amount of other time between the two work centers. The technique requires several preconditions. The time for each job must be constant. The job times must be mutually exclusive of the job sequence. All jobs must be processed in the first work center before going to the second work center. And all jobs are equally prioritized. In general, there are four steps in Johnson's rule. First, these all jobs and times for each work center. Example here, there are five jobs A, B, C, D, and E, and the information of processing time at both work center, work center one and work center two. Second step. Choose the job with the shortest activity time. If that time is in the first work center, schedule the job first. If it's in the second work center, second work center, schedule the job last. Once a job is scheduled, it is eliminated from the list and repeat step two and three working toward the center of the sequence. To illustrate this example, this Johnson rules, if you look at this example, each of five jobs needs to go through work center one and two, find the optimum sequence of jobs using Johnson's rule. So we have processing time information at both work center one and two. So we find the smallest time The smallest time is located in job A, 2 hours, at work center 2. Since the time is in work center 2, schedule the job last. So for job A, yeah, the 2 hours located at work center 2, so we schedule the job last. Next, we eliminate job A. We repeat to the second step, find the smallest time. So from these times, the smallest is 3 hours for job A. Since the time is in work center 1, the 3 hours located at work center 1, schedule this job first. So the 3 hours located at work center 1, schedule the job first. Next, we eliminate. We move to the next step. Find the smallest time. So now the smallest time is 4 hours for job C located at work center 2. Since these 4 hours located at work center 2, we schedule the job C last. Next, we eliminate C. So now we left 7 hours for job D located at work center 2 and 7 hours. Job E located at work center 1. So because of work center D, 7 hours located at work center 2. So we schedule the job D last. And the next is job E, 7 hours located at work center 1. We schedule the job first. So we have complete the sequence here. Okay. Start with E. B, C, C, and A. So the job must be processed in the order of B, E, B, C, A and must be processed in the same order on both work centers. So what happened at the work center 1 and 2 with this sequence B, E, B, C, A? Okay. So as we have discussed, we have found the sequence 
B, E, D, C, A. So we start with job B. Yeah. Job B, work center 1 is 3 hours. So B, 3 hours. hours so after b is job e c is seven hours at work center one so three hours plus seven hours ten hours ten okay then after job e is d d 10 hours at work center 1. So 10 plus 10. Now 20 hours. After D is job C. 8 hours at work center 1. Okay. So 20 plus 8 is 29. And then the last job is A, 5 hours at work center 1. So we have complete the jobs at work center 1, okay, 33 hours. So we move to the next work center 2. Okay. So we have just done it at work center 1. So in work center 2, because uh, job B is still at work center 1, so uh, they are either 3 hours for work center 2. Again, because the B is still at work center 1. So we start with B at work center 2. Okay. So six hours, yeah. So three plus six, nine hours. Okay. So after B is job E, okay. Job E. So issue here, the E cannot start immediately after job B at work center two because now E is still running at work center one. So after B complete at work center 2 so they are either at work center 2 for one hour again because job e is still at work center 1 so we will either one hour at work center 2 so e only can start after e finish at work center 1 so 10 plus 12 so 22 after job E is D, so D takes 7 hours. So the job D can start immediately after job E finish because D also is finished at work center 1. So 22 plus 7 is 29. After job D is job C, 4 hours at work center 2. So 29 plus 4 hours, 23, 23 there, and the last job is A, 2 hours at work, center 2. hours plus 2 hours 35 so for this sequence B E D C A it, it takes 35 hours to complete all jobs and you can try to look at other sequence and for sure the other sequence of jobs will be give more than 35 hours so that's all for the John Social's application so see you in the next session on the next topic. Thank you.